What do you hate the most about stand-up? In order to truly become a stand-up, you have to know that you can survive eating it in front of drunk people. I have done stand-up comedy, or a version of it, um, but not really. I mean, I've done... There was a kind of a scene that was happening in L.A. in the mid-90s. No audience wants to be talked at. They had a stand-up kind of or an anti-stand-up sort of thing where you would tell stories and such. Every person when they're new doing stand-up, they talk too fast. So, like, mm. just know you're going to talk too fast, so it's okay to slow it down. Mm. Give them a pause room to yes. laugh. Yes! I don't even know enough about stand-up to really even discuss stand-up, to be honest. I'm going to book you in, in, like, a month. So you're either going to just stand up there and, and with nothing to do, or you can get five minutes together. I haven't put much thought into what the act would be, which is probably something I should think about. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What do you think? I think probably my life as a father and married person and I don't know that seems kind of boring everything that you think is the worst about you your secret flaws are what people are gonna to relate to on stage and because you, they have their own version of that and, in it's, and it's the unique truth of what your little monster is inside mm -hmm. it's like it's not a pretty nobody wants to hang out with a perfect person you think it would be fun to follow somebody who's kind who doesn't really do it and see how they do. If I'm gonna do this, I need, you know, if I pick up a lightsaber, I turn it on, it goes the wrong way and cuts right through me. No, you know, I need somebody yeah. saying, no, turn, yeah, it turn it around. Yeah. I grew up with a, I'm playing Chewbacca with yeah. my brother. I would be honored to be your Obi-Wan <laughs> Kenobi.